Meantime, homeless outreach is in full force as the rain is coming down in some parts in San Diego County. Of course, flooding in some areas has pushed people living in the uh, San Diego Riverbed out to warmer areas. One homeless advocate is boasting about the outreach efforts at this time. And KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from Fashion Valley. She's in that one area where the river is going on behind you. Teresa, what's happening? Good evening. Uh, take a look at this. This is what happens when we get a lot of rain, the flooding. And Dan was talking about a crazy situation. Well, you know what is crazy? People are actually moving the barricades, driving through here. Just take a look. One woman just a few minutes ago, she just drove through here, opened the barricade. But we're here because we're talking about the unsheltered who live in the riverbed. Now, this river travels 52 miles, but we're focusing on the county from Ocean Beach to Lakeside. Normally, you see so many encampments and tents, but with this rain, a lot of the homeless leave the area. They don't know where to go. And meanwhile, the county, they're trying to figure out to create more housing. Homeless advocates, they're stepping in. They're trying to provide some comfort, some warmth to so many of these people in need. And it's incredible with the work that the homeless advocate Michael McConnell is doing. He was a small business owner. He retired, and he's been in outreach for 13 years. And he is reaching out to everyone right now saying, please help, because everyone has been pushed out of the riverbed. They need a place to go. They need shelter. They just need something that could keep them dry. Take a look. Before the rain started, I tried to push out a lot of food to get into people's uh, hands. So when it did start raining, they didn't have some food, wouldn't have to go out of their tents. But the rain has just really been uh, catastrophic. Due to the flooding in the San Diego Riverbed, homeless are looking for shelter. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell and other advocates distributing supplies to the many people who live there. A lot of people had to flee, some of them literally with not, not even any shoes on their feet. And so uh, those folks uh, lost their tents, their bedding, uh, some personal items sometimes. And so we've just been really trying to work. Meeting with McConnell Tuesday while he was shopping at Walmart in Claremont Mesa. Purchasing. Well, uh, unfortunately, I, this store only had three tents, so I bought the three tents. Some more sleeping bags. I had a few left, but I wanted to keep adding sleeping bags. Tarps. Tarps. Sometimes people don't want a tent because it makes them so visible. They're trying to just stay low. But we, we spent uh, almost 300 bucks at this, at this trip. Uh, this won't quite fill my car, so I'll be hitting some other stores. He's been making several stops at stores, then dropping items off in several areas. Outpouring support from the community. In recent days, $4,000 raised, bringing the number up to around 13000 People are cold and wet all over the city while we're sitting in our houses nice, dry, and warm. So if you have any extra belongings that can help people keep warm, jackets, socks, shoes, we all see folks that are struggling on our sidewalks. And most of those folks are very approachable. Ask them what they need even. Till I actually went out on the street and talked to folks and really got an understanding of what's keeping people homeless. A can of food or a sleeping bag isn't keeping somebody homeless services, mental health services, substance use services, and the lack of housing is what's keeping people homeless. So giving somebody some stuff to help them through the day, that's not it. If it's enabling them, it's enabling them to survive out on the streets while we wait for our city and county to act on those other things that people need to get off the street. And back out live, you are looking at the flooding from the San Diego River right behind the Fashion Valley Mall. Looks about two and a half feet deep. It's pretty wild to see after all this rainfall in the last couple of days. When I was speaking with McConnell about how many people live in the riverbed along the county, he was telling me that the San Diego River Park Foundation held a census in the last couple of months, finding that more than 400 people are living in the San Diego Riverbed. So it's wonderful to see that these local efforts from the homeless advocates are being executed. And if you would like to help on your own, you can always go through your closet, as McConnell was saying, if you have any belongings that would keep those warm or provide shelter by tents or tarps or anything, that would be wonderful. We also have the link on the bottom of your screen. It is the GoFundMe 
homeless community support and you could go on there and search for that and you could donate but it's incredible to see but just in recent days they've raised over four thousand dollars i'm sure by the end of the week it'll get up to fifteen thousand we'll have more coming up in the five o'clock hour reporting in fashion valley i'll send it back to you such an interesting idea. I know a lot of people donate clothes to Goodwill or uh, Salvation Army, Father's Joe's Villages, but to actually just drive to a homeless area and pass out a jacket or some socks to somebody there on the street uh, sounds like a great idea. You're just eliminating the middleman and giving it right to the person. Teresa, thanks.